Morgan aboard Cow Train. This train will stop at O.R. Tambo International Airport. This week, I'm down to the beautiful fan court for the BMW Golf Cup International World Final. It's the world's largest amateur golfing tournament, with over 100,000 participants from 45 different countries teeing it up each year to try and get to this final event. While here, I also get to play fan court's three amazing golf courses in one week. That's the Otaniqua, ranked 14th in South Africa. It's Big Brother the Montague course, which is ranked 8th. And then the granddaddy of them all, the Lynx, SA's undisputed number one golf course. Plus, I get to stay at the Manor House. And it's here where we'll start with a little room tour. How do you get to the BMW International Golf Cup? Well, I guess um, you've got to start by buying a BMW. That's the easiest way, I think, because if it comes down to having a media guest, I will fight you to the death. I'll fight you to the death to come back here and be the media guest accreditation. So, probably best to buy a car. Once you become a BMW owner, well, then you must take part in a regional BMW Golf Cup International Day. Now, if you win through here in your division, you then go through to the national finals. You win through some national finals, well, you then get to represent your country at a world final held at an exotic destination, just like Fancourt. Me though, well, I'm a media guest. Here we are at the Montague, so we're playing a three ball today. We're playing with, we're playing Wolf, basically. It's me, it's OG. What's up, Benno? How you doing, bud? Long time media golf partner and uh, general all round nice guy. Then we got Dietrich here from BMW. Okay, he says I look like a hipster today. <laughs> he says I, I look like a golfing hipster. What do you think? <laughs> Does that make me a golfing hipster? I, I don't know. No, it's a nice outfit. Oh, gee, look See, at his Lennox, shoes. Lennox, look, at his, look at his trousers here. Lennox, Lennox my man, says there's a nice outfit. <laughs> this is where the hipster go, go gets him in this area. <laughs> I was a bolt for speed. <laughs> Lennox, my guy today, Lennox, he says my outfit's very nice. Yes, it is very nice. You like his outfit? Dave, number yeah. one. It looks like a boss. Yes. Haven't, haven't paid him yet, so that's authentic, <laughs> authentic <laughs> clone. <laughs> Long and straight, huh? So OG's a tailor-made guy, I'm of course a Cobra Puma guy. What's going on? He's got the new M4, I've got the F8 Plus. From here on in, it's showtime. Showtime, let's see how the bombs go, right? I think up until now it's been pretty even. Yeah. Well, actually, you're ahead. <laughs> Just there, a couple of ones I kind of left Ben in the background there. Took some pictures. Okay. All right, so it's, it's game on now between the battle of the two big drivers. Yeah. Property here, Montague, Otaniqua, Lynx, there's a lot of great holes. And then there's the 17th Montague. Like special, special.
Every night during the world's final, there is a spectacular evening event. And with it being an essay, this comes with a great deal of local flavor, of course. The Shabin night is naturally a big hit with the internationals, who even get to experience a ride in a local taxi to the night's venues. Yep, they get to sacrifice the luxury BMWs for one night, but it's all about attention to detail and everybody gets properly stuck in as a result. Dr. Victor and the Rasta Rebels then bring all the nationalities together on the dance floor. And let's just say those golfers not in contention. Well, they kind of have the most fun. <laughs> During the week of the World Final, the players play the Montague course twice and the Otoniko course once. They do not play the Lynx. The Lynx is South Africa's best golf course, it's also South Africa's hardest golf course. And well, I actually don't think we should get into this now, I'm going to make a separate video about this because the Lynx is just so incredibly special, it needs, it needs more time. After the third round, when all the scores are in and all the players have given their all for the week, well then, a very special guest drops by. Now, it is the world final, so it can't just be anyone really. And well, having gone to this event five years ago, I knew who exactly who it was prior to the event. But for a lot of people, it was quite a surprise to kind of get to the 10th tier of the Montague course to see, well, one of the greatest golfers has ever lived. Say what you want about Mr. Gary a player, but nobody puts on a clinic like him. I mean, this guy has a joke for everybody. He makes everyone feel special and he's still got it at 82. When I say he's still got it, like he's literally still hitting every shot in the bag. So he goes through a masterclass where he plays a few holes and tells people how to play it. Some of the common mistakes that we make as amateur golfers, both you know physically and mentally. <laughs> And he literally has just this, this way about him where, I mean, as you can see, everyone is gravitating towards him. Everyone, I mean, he could have walked 36 holes. People would have walked around him the whole day. And all the stuff, it makes a lot of sense. And he's still throwing out the shots. Look, this guy's a champion. There's no doubt about it. He was born to be a champion. All he does is be, he's just a champion. <laughs> That's all he is. And he's still so entertaining to watch. His work isn't done with the clinic though. He's also the guest of honor for the final function of the week. Final night, black tie with the black knight. Shattered, I'm gonna race my game one more time. Wowzers. Cool thing about tonight's party is it's like 100 meters from the room so I can literally stagger home. I love how cool this is though. Give it a skip, let me find some booze. The final event for the week is the big gala dinner and it's of course also the prize giving. So Gary was there as the guest of honor and also to hand out the prizes and well there was this really cool montage about his career leading into it. His arrival on stage naturally came with a standing ovation. 
And then he, along with MC Joan Strauss, just had a bit of a chat. And Gary was sharing some really great stories about his life and times as a pro golfer. It was 40 hours to get to from here to America. And it was not by jet. It was a propeller. And we sat and there were no earphones. There were no beds. And you sat like this with six screaming children. And you stopped in Africa in four places, which were not the greatest place in the world to stop. They had guns and all kinds of things. So I had to say goodbye, but time has come. It's been an amazing week, and the BMW Golf Cup International is just wow. As a golf event goes, attention to detail, the sheer scale, of everything has been amazing. And to be at the World Finals here at Fan Court, it's just wow, extra special. But it's time to get home.